Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Welcome to spring! Isn't this gorgeous? It's such a fun quilt. I love these tulips and it is easy to make. We're calling this Totally Tulips. I'm going to call it Totally Tula because this is Tula Pink's fabric and I just love it. It's her new line called Tabby Road and it's uh, from Free Spirit and she just does a great job with her fabric and, I, and it's just so happy and fun. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one packet of 10 inch squares. That's 42 squares. And we have used Tabby Road by Tula Pink for Free Spirit. And it's, you can see it's just a happy line. You're going to need some background. You're going to need three and a half yards. That's going to take care of all your sashings like this, this first inner border. It's going to take care of all of that. You're also going to need a quarter of a yard of whatever you choose for your stems. And that's your little stem block. And, uh, and then your outer border, we're gonna need uh, two and three quarter yards for your outer border right here. And that's a six inch border right there. So we put a nice big border on it and it makes a great size quilt. It's 89 by 90, so it's a big quilt and really fun to make. So this block is so easy to make. Let me show you how to do it. The tulip is actually made of two blocks. The top is a four patched with one snowballed corner. The bottom is half square triangles that we're gonna make the easy eight method. And so the first thing you wanna do is go through your pack and pull out 14 blocks that you're gonna save and use for your stems. Then you're gonna to go to your background fabric. You're gonna to have to have 14 10 inch squares from your background fabric to make your leaves. And you're also going to have to cut some two and a half inch strips for your snowball corners out of your background. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the leaves. The leaves we're gonna start with whatever fabric we choose for our leaf print. We are going to put a white 10 inch square on top of it. We're gonna draw a line diagonally both directions. I've got one line drawn there. We're gonna draw the other one right here. Now what we're gonna do is this, is this is the method of making half square triangles where you get eight out of, each, uh, out of each square. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch on either side of this line and a quarter of an inch on either side of this line and, uh, and then cut them. So first let's go and let's go ahead and sew a quarter of an inch uh, on this right here. And when we get to the end, we're just gonna whip it around and, um, and do the other side. And we're gonna do this to both lines. All right, so once you get your lines all sewn, we're gonna come over here and we are going to go ahead and cut this into half square triangles. I'm gonna get my iron heated up over there. I'm gonna lay my ruler uh, because this is five inches wide, I'm working with a 10 inch square. It should come right to the middle. And I'm going to lay my ruler on the edge and make a cut straight horizontally. Then I'm gonna cut vertically. And you're, you'll know if you're in the right place because you're, you should be cutting right through that crisscross. Now we're also gonna cut on our lines. So lay your ruler on those lines like this and on this side as well. And you might have to uh, stick your tongue out or bite your lip like I do when I'm cutting. <laughs> I always end up with a chap lip down here. All right, so now you can see we've got eight of these half square triangles. So we're gonna go press those open and I'm gonna turn them all so the fabric is up. That's the dark side for me. And we're gonna just lift them and roll them back. Now these blocks should all be about uh, four, four and a half inches. And so you wanna make sure that yours are pretty close to that and you may need to square them up a little bit. But four and a half inches is what we're looking for on these and generally they come out pretty good. Let me check one right here. Yep, you can't get much closer than that. All right, so now we make our leaves. To, to make our leaves, we want two leaves that are coming out this way. So we're gonna lay our blocks together so that one shoots out that way and one shoots out the other way. And I have to do this to make sure 
that mine are going the right direction because I get a little turned around. You're going to get two leaf sets from every square. That's why you only need 14 of those. And this is going to make our leaves. So now we're going to sew these together this way. Just like this. Again, you're following that quarter of an inch mark. And I'm just going to chain piece mine one after the other. Just like that. Now let's press these open. Make sure we got these going the right direction. You know, I'm such a rote sewer that as I'm sewing, a lot of times I'll get, I'll get going on something and I'll be like, oh no, they're all going the same way and then I have to change them. All right, so here's our two, our two leaves. We need a stem. So out of your quarter of a, of a yard of stem fabric, you're gonna cut a one and a half by eight inch piece. That should be the length of your block right there. And uh, just make sure that it fits, you know, whatever it is you're making, make sure that it fits in the center of your of your stems. And we're just gonna sew this down to the sides and sew this two stem units together. And we'll sew this side. And then I'm just gonna kind of finger press this back and add my other leaf to the other side. Line it up on my quarter of an inch mark. And off we go. There's nothing to really nest or match up on this. So uh, you can just go ahead and once you get your top piece in, you should be all set. And I'm gonna press that on the top and then I'm gonna come on the back and press my stems to the inside. I don't think that really matters, but it will, it will help a little bit with your bulk if you press those to the inside. There we go. Now I'm a little long on this one, so I'm gonna trim this up. And if you actually, if you actually square your squares to four and a half, you won't have to do this. I didn't square mine, so I'm dealing with a little bit of extra, but you'll wanna go ahead and square yours. And you want to square them first before you put the stem in. <laughs> All right. So this is our stem block. This is what we're looking for for our stem block, and now we get to make our flower. So out of all the other pieces, 28 pieces, in your, um, in your, in your packet, you're gonna cut those into fourths. So I'm gonna set this over here, and we're gonna cut these into fourths. And again, um, with this ruler, because it's five inches wide, I can just lay it on the edge and do both sides. And <laughs> And I hope you can just see how cute this is with that little kitty on there. It's just adorable. So you're gonna mix these up now. You're gonna have a whole bunch cut. I've got a stack over here. And what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna design our flower, which means I'm gonna choose four different, uh, different packs. I mean, four different five inch squares. And we're gonna put them together. I wanna make, I want all mine to be different like this. And then we're gonna go to our background fabric again. We're gonna cut a two and a half inch uh, strip like this. I knew I had one there somewhere. And then we're gonna cut it into um, two and a half inch squares. So once we get our strip cut, we're gonna sub cut that. You're gonna get 16 squares out of every strip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this into two and a half. like this. You need four of these for each block and there's 28 flowers total. So I'm just gonna cut a few of those. All right, once you know which four you want to make for your flower, like this, we're gonna snowball a corner on them. Now, uh, it doesn't matter if you're just putting together four random blocks, which corner you snowball. But if you want to make sure your kitty is standing upright, that matters. Because our two, what we're going to do is we're going to finger press these, and then we're going to sew a snowball corner. Now the two top ones, you want your snowball corner to be facing the middle. Okay, like this. 
and your two outer ones, your two bottom ones, we want that snowball to face the outside. So if you're worried about anything being directional, then you need to make sure that you uh, lay it out and make sure those are going in the right places. If you're just sewing prints together, you can just snowball one corner and then place them in two in and two out. So let's go ahead and snowball our corners here. And this is just easy. We, what we've done is we've taken our little two and a half inch square and we've, we are gonna sew right straight on that line. We've pressed a line diagonally. You can press it, you can draw it, whatever you'd like. And we're just gonna sew these one after the other after the other. There we are. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip these apart and clip off our, our corner. You can do that with your scissors or you can do it with a rotary cutter. I'm just gonna use my scissors because that's what I have in my hand from clipping them apart. And then we're gonna press those back. And these I'm just rolling back. So once you get your snowballed corners all pressed down, you can lay them any way you want them. It's just that your two top ones have to face in like this. And you can see we've only snowballed one corner. So any way we wanna turn these, you know, any placement in the four patch that you wanna use them will work. But we wanna remember the two top ones go in and the two bottom ones go out, just like that. Now we're gonna sew this together as a four patch. And so I'm just gonna sew on this line. The top ones, remember your snowballs are gonna meet in the middle. And your bottom one, your snowballs are to the outside. And that makes our little tulip. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew these right together so that it, again, it's a four patch. So make sure your snowballs are at the top and at the bottom. Put them right sides together. You'll want those middle seams to nest. That means one seam goes one way and one seam goes the other. And you can feel that with your fingers. Um, as you're going along, what I do is I take a few stitches to start and then I nest my seam in there and I can make sure I feel it with my fingers to make sure that there's no opening in there. And if you need to pin that, you can. And then we're gonna press it open. And that is gonna make our little tulip top right here. There's our little flower. Then we're gonna add it to the stem section. The stem section should match up nicely with the top and you want the middle of your middle seam right here to match up with your stem. So just kind of line that up. I do it pretty visually. And then we're just gonna sew this down a quarter of an inch, sew it across. And I want my seams to lay in. So I make sure those are going the right direction. And we're almost there. So isn't this just cute as can be? Isn't that so cute? So now you're ready to set your quilt together. And we've used some sashing strips on here. They're two and a half. They're gonna be the width of your block. Now I want, let's go look at the quilt really fast so that I can show you how we did this. So every other row starts with a sash. No sash, sash, no sash, sash, no sash, sash, just like that. And you're gonna build it in long columns like this. So you're gonna sew tulip, sash, tulip, sash, tulip, sash. Half of your rows are gonna be like this. The other half are gonna have no sash at the top, but of course they'll end up with a sash at the bottom. So as you start putting them together, just remember you want them to offset like that and uh, you'll put them together in long rows and you will get rows like this so that you can just see them. They're just a little offset. And you'll have one long two and a half inch strip that you sash between your rows of tulips. So once you get your row of tulips done, you're gonna put a sashing row in there. So once you get your columns made, you're gonna end up with four tulips in every column and seven rows across. 
And then you're going to add that little two and a half inch inner border out here. And you're going to add your big beefy outer border, which is a five and a half inch border, makes a great inch border, frames it all in. Again, the quilt is 89 by 90, so it's a great size quilt. So we sure hope you're enjoying springtime and that you enjoy this springtime tutorial on Totally Tulips from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.